Good morning, everybody. Today is a special day. Today, we say happy birthday to this beautiful lady. <laughs> so, baby, happy birthday. Thank you. You're with your puppy child. <laughs> what do you want to do today? I want to go out doors, be in nature, go for a hike. That's what I want to do. Let's go. All right, guys. First stop, birthday was a failure. I wanted to take Tanya to Cinnabon because that is her jam. She loves Cinnabon cinnamon rolls, but due to the COVID stupidity, there is no Cinnabon cinnamon rolls being made. So, the second thing on Tanya's list is pancakes. I took her to the original pancake house in Salt Lake City and even wrote happy birthday on the packaging. Baby, happy freaking birthday. <laughs> Let's eat. So, we got hash browns, bacon, and eggs. And blueberry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> blueberry pancakes. Beans that it is Tanya's birthday. We have devoured our breakfast. We gave Journey a little bit of egg so she could have some birthday breakfast too. She probably needs to go for a walk real quick. And then, what's our next stop? Antelope Island. Antelope Island. What are we gonna do there? <laughs> we are going to hike. We're going to go on a hike. We're gonna hike all of these pancakes off. Yeah, 6.6 .6 mile round trip hike, I found. And, and, it's supposed to be nice today, and there's a place where you can go in the water, and they say that it has uh, like the softest sand, and you can walk all the way out in the water. Do you know who so loves we're gonna sand? Take, we're gonna take Journey there. Do you know who loves sand? This girl. Do you know who loves sand? She loves sand. Do you know who loves water? And water. Is that is that you? Is that the journey girl? You love sand and water? Do you love sand and water? Yes, you do. Alright. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We have made our destination Ugh. and we were informed as we pulled in that the gnats here are really bad like biting bad and if you know me my nickname is bug why is my nickname bug because all the bugs bite you all the bugs bite me the bugs love me so we have to prepare ourselves so we've got long pants on Tights. We're putting. We have tights on. We're putting jackets on. Tights. We have beautiful socks on. Look at mine. Cool. Thank you, Bobby Joe, if you're watching this. We have. Tights. He has tights. He's he's loves his his tights. We have hats. And then we have these. What are these? These are face masks bug nets bug nets so <laughs> we can <laughs> go hiking protect ourselves from the gnats 
We get ourselves all zipped up here. Oops, hold on. Here, let me help. <laughs> get ourselves all safe and secure <laughs> so we can. I feel like social quarantining <laughs> is getting worse. <laughs> so we can be good from the box. I look ridiculous. I feel like social quarantining is getting worse. <laughs> anyway, this is what we got going on. We're gonna go on this hike because, I mean, you're still being out in nature. It's still good. Yeah. But taking proper precautions. Yes. And let's go. Okay, so. Just kidding. That was a bad idea. We stepped outside for like a minute. Maybe and we maybe. were s like covered in gnats. Poor Journey was covered in gnats. She was getting bit. Running. Running, she didn't like it. So, we are not gonna go for a hike here today. Um, I think maybe we'll just drive around and take it in and then decide maybe what else that we will do, but definitely not gonna hang out with bugs today. No, no sorry, not happening. Me kiss? Me kiss? Me kiss? <laughs> so, as we walk away from Lucille, we have found a hike that my friend Mark hooked us up with. We are at the Adams Canyon Trail. It's supposed to be a waterfall, about four miles. A uh, moderate hike. It's, it's fairly busy, so it must be worth it. Well, journey's on the leash. She had a nice little nap on the way here, so she should be ready to go. We got our packs out packed up. We got our hiking boots on, and we are going all the way up. Nothing will stop us going all the way up. As we go down the trail, let's play a fun little game with Tanya. Maybe we'll learn some more things about her. Maybe I'll learn something about her. So, Tanya? Yes. When were you born? When? Yep. April 28th, 1986. And where? Farmington, New Mexico. Have you been back since? To Farmington, no. New Mexico, yes. So... Hold up. This is my game. Oh. Journey says hold up. Journey says hold up. This is our game, Ma. Okay. What? what? I don't know. You were about to tell me something. Oh, the first time I went to New Mexico since I was born was in 2018. And we went to Los Lunes. New Mexico, and then to Albuquerque to the Hot Air Balloon Festival. Yeah. That was super cool. That was a good little fun fact. All right, you can say it. <laughs> All right, next little fact. What? Where did you go from Farmington, New Mexico? Farmington, New Mexico. We moved to Nebraska. Yeah. <laughs> which is where my family is from. And then we went to Wyoming. We moved to Cheyenne, Wyoming. And then to a little town called Sinclair, where I have very many fond memories of. And then we moved back to Nebraska in 93. And that's where I grew up. And that's where you, what else? That's where I met you. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Nebraska pretty much ruined your life then. gentlemen is the United States Air Force. God bless them and God bless you. Did you find a birthday present? I did. What did it look like? This little thing right here. What happened? She was laying off in the shade in the weeds <laughs> and I thought oh I'll just pick her up. Take her with us. Yep and here she is. I was hot and thirsty. All right, so the iPad and Journey was part of additions to our businesses as well as your birthday gifts. Yeah. 
How many dogs have you had as an adult? Two. A Sheltie named Dakota and a boxer named Cash. And then Journey. And now Journey. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're in the best shape of your life, or close to. Yep. What would you attribute that to? To healthy eating, exercise, drinking water, getting good rest, and getting some of this vitamin D. So when you turned 16, what kind of car did you have? <laughs> uh, what was it called? Uh, is it a Lincoln New Yorker or a Chrysler New Chrysler Yorker? Chrysler New Yorker. Chrysler New Yorker that I bought from my parents. It was my dad's car and he sold it to me. Um, <clears throat> nothing was really ever given to me. I always had to pay for it, which I think was a great experience. It taught me to appreciate things a lot more and be proud of what I had. He's getting all the loves. All right. At 16. Yes. What was your boyfriend's name? <laughs> Did I even have a boyfriend at 16? Quit it. <laughs> Pretty little girl like you. <laughs> Jacob. JD is what they called him. JD. I feel for you, homie. we get asked all the time about our bus is what? About our bus? Yep. What did we name her? Okay, what did we name her? Lucille. And what's the next question? I guess it's it's not necessarily it's he or she, but we named it Lucille. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> that was so cute! Well your dog's gonna be on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. You too. The question I was thinking was, why did you pick mint green? Oh, because it's mint chocolate chip. 
And, and my favorite color is green. Yeah. So, we've done almost 10,000 miles in Lucille. We've been in Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, Nevada, and California. Yes. And we've been to two national parks this year. Yeah. What's been your favorite? National park? No, period. Oh. About uh, everything. Uh. Oh, I guess, you know what? That doesn't count because we were in Yellowstone last year. Yeah. With Lucille. That's right. And that would be my favorite. Yellowstone? I love Yellowstone. Yeah. And Yellowstone loves you. <laughs> we're getting towards the end. Getting to the end. What? is something you would tell somebody on here that they probably don't know about you. Jeez. How many surgeries have you had? Six. Total? Seven. seven. Your whole life? I think seven surgeries. Seven, seven or eight. Christ. I know. Something that I would tell that people don't know about me. Um, jeez. Let me get back to you. What is something that you are the best at? Creating. What do you Vi think? Videos, taking things and putting them together to make them look seamless and professional. So, things with art, like video editing, um, putting video clips together, making them turn into one single video that flows nicely, uh, drawing, um, anything that has to do with art, really. That's what I'm the best at. All right, so we're about back to the bus. Yes. You've now done this hike. Yes. So I had to wait till we were done. What has been your favorite hike that we've done so far? Ooh, definitely uh, Havasu Falls. Yeah? Yeah. What's numero dos? <sighs> numero dos, Cape Flattery. Ooh, that's a short hike, but it's beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful. What about number three? Uh, number three, number three, shoot. Um, God, I gotta think of what all hikes we've all been on. I know, on. I'm thinking like Palouse Falls and... No, uh, not Palouse Falls. Jeez. Oh, the Glacier one. Oh, yeah. Where the are we? Mar the Glacier... St. Mary's. St. Mary's Glacier in Colorado. Okay, I'll give you that. Yeah. All right, that's top three. What's something that people don't know about you? Uh, I'm an open book, so people probably know everything about me. Quit it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last one. This is for the peas and carrots. Peas and carrots? Yep. Okay. Steak or pizza? <laughs> if it's a good steak, a steak. Okay. What about steak or tacos? Tacos because you can have steak in your tacos. Okay. Boom. Tacos or pizza? <laughs> tacos. I love tacos. Tacos it is. So, what is the one thing that nobody knows about you? <laughs> I would say that I have very many talents under my belt. Um, I used to be CPR first aid certified. I used to be firearms instructor. I used to be a pepper ball instructor, uh, OC spray instructor, which is oleo, oleo resin capsicum is what they use um, to spray in people's eyes to um, think of pepper spray basically and I used to teach self-defense such as pressure point control tactics and knife defense as well as rape prevention and jeez what else I used to do all these cool things before the age of 30 okay so your birthday is like a few minutes from being over. Yeah. We need to finish out the vlog. Yep. So what was your favorite part of today? <laughs> well, I would say my favorite part was definitely the hike. Um, I love nature. I love being outdoors. It is my thing. It's my therapy is what I call it. 
but the biggest thing that I enjoyed the most was when everybody sang me happy birthday because it was from a bunch of people that I don't even know, which made it so just awesome, super awesome. And I have nobody to thank but my loving husband for making that all happen. So thank you, love. For sure. And with that, I'm gonna spend the last few minutes of my birthday snuggling with my pup and my husband and then I'm gonna hit the bed because we got a big day tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being a part of my special day. I truly, truly appreciate it. I love you all and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>